Hi guys. It is an absolutely gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful spring day here in paradise in uh, Garfield, Texas, here on this spectacularly gorgeous Sunday morning. It is April 28th. 2019. I'm going out the back way from my house in Garfield, Texas as I prepare to, you know, just piss away one more beautiful day here in the end times when I need to be out there enjoying it while I still can so I can spend another six hours, another wasted beautiful spring day trying to sell a used pickup truck but I think we know that story so anyway it is Sunday so I was gonna do my doomsday sermon oh yeah but before I get into this I do want to I guess thank slash apologize to uh, kind-hearted tribes member Sandy K Southern Sandy down there in Florida, I, uh, you know, I offered uh, anyone who wanted to buy this little piece of shit uh, Bluetooth stereo thing, the first $30 uh, would take it, and then there was some confusion, uh, but, but anyway, so Sandy came up with the $30, but at the same time, uh, Yankee Sandy, New York Sandy, offered to trade me her brand new smartphone for this piece of crap. So uh, I'm gonna go for the smartphone. And I told Southern Sandy that she uh, was, uh, that I owe her two hours of of hard labor at fifteen dollars an hour to pay her back for her kind contribution to Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles. Uh, and anyway, an offer. So you know what? I'm I'm going to make a new offer to you guys. This could be a dangerous one. Uh, so before you send the money, send me an email. You know, I have a 23,000 song iTunes collection. I have very uh, diverse taste in music. But uh, it has taken me close to 20 years to put together my iTunes collection. And several people, particularly down there in Latin America, have died and gone to heaven when they found Hambone's iTunes collection. So what you can do, as I told Sandy, the next time we get together we'll do this, you can stick one of these things called a thumb drive in there and just download the iTunes and there you go. I can put my entire iTunes collection. Now it takes about eight hours to do this uh, and I don't know how to do it so I would have to find someone. But anyway, I am going just to sell uh, Hambone's iTunes collection on sale, $50. Anybody who wants uh, to purchase what I consider the single greatest iTunes collection uh, on the planet, 50 bucks takes it. Uh, I will send you a little thumb drive with all of my iTunes. But guys, don't send me the $50. I mean, do send me the $50. But uh, if you want to claim the iTunes, it will probably be at least a month. But, you know, I need to figure out how, someone has to teach me how to do this. But anyway, Hambone's iTunes collection is for sale for $50. So anyway, enough fundraising here in the end time. So it is this Sunday morning. So uh, normally I do a, uh, a doomsday sermon on Sunday I try to and 
I was going to do a uh, an article. It was either written by Jimmy Carter or anyway, but it was it was Jimmy Carter. Uh, what he was talking about, uh, Jimmy Carter was comparing China to the U.S. And the point he was trying to make is that China is the reason that they're able to do all of this infrastructure is that uh, they don't spend any money on like the U.S. does, you know, like invading other countries and setting up military bases all over the world and bombing everybody and all this. I understand Jimmy Carter's point. You know, he was calling the U.S. correctly. Uh, Jimmy Carter claiming the United States is the most war, you know, just uh, war criminal country. He didn't use that term. But we are the most violent, war-prone uh, country on the planet. Probably the single most violent uh, country in the history of, uh, you, you know, modern civilization. And that China, uh, he's claiming, Jimmy Carter's claiming since his presidency, probably correctly, that the U.S. has pissed away three trillion dollars, three trillion dollars on the uh, war machine and he was you know pointing out that China chose not to spend three trillion dollars on the war machine so what they have all of these cool things like all of these thousands of miles of uh, of these high-speed bullet trains and all of these beautiful uh, thousands of miles of highways and modern bridges and all of this stuff and, you know, Jimmy Carter just, who was a great guy, you know, as my mama, Elaine Mitchell, always said, that history will vindicate Jimmy Carter, okay? But, you know, the more I was reading this, while I 100% agree with Jimmy Carter on, on what he was saying, the, this absolutely hilarious point that he was making is that China has not been involved in any wars on planet Earth, you know, since he was president back in the late 1970s. Now, they, they do have, of course, their own military and building their own weapons, but, you know, they have not spent one penny on, on actively engaging in warfare. Uh, w w with all of these other countries and, you know, pointing out how the, you know, China needs to be a model for, for the U.S., the, these peaceniks in China. And again, while I understand what he's trying to point out, what Jimmy Carter uh, fails to understand and anybody reading his sermon, which I think was literally based on a sermon in this little Baptist church in uh, Plains, Georgia. Uh, Jimmy Carter, to this day, he's 94 years old, and he delivers sermons at, his, at this little Baptist church in Plains, Georgia. So this, this was based on, loosely based on, on literally on a, on a sermon he was having, I believe. But what he absolutely failed to mention in his sermon for the simple reason it has never crossed Jimmy Carter's mind as it has never crossed 99.9% .9 of the clueless fucking morons on this planet mind that China, China has declared war on the planet. I, I mean... Uh, has China declared war on, you know, all of these individual countries on the planet? Well, that depends on your definition of war. And I would certainly, there, there, there's plenty of ways to wage a war on individual countries. But I'm not talking about that kind of warfare. I am talking about China has declared open 
warfare on planet Earth. Planet Earth is where China is invading. Planet Earth is, well, is planet Earth the enemy of China? No, China is the enemy of planet Earth. How many times have I said with no help from the rest of the country, uh, the rest of the planet, if everyone on this planet outside of China died today, China with no help from the rest of the planet uh, has everything it needs to destroy this planet. And again, uh, as 99.9% .9 of the people on the planet have never thought about, including Jimmy Carter, it is uh, this infrastructure model uh, that they want to do to the rest of the planet what they've done to China. All of their fucking bullet trains and millions of miles of new highways and these goddamn planet-eating bridges and all of this shit that Jimmy Carter thinks is so wonderful and that we need more of in this country. Uh, everything that, that he holds up as a shining example uh, of what the United States needs to aspire to is a direct assault on planet Earth. Uh, and, and now, uh, this goddamn uh, Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, I have got to get somebody. Uh, we have got to find, you guys help me out. I need to find the best person to interview about China's Belt and Road Initiative. What, it, what it's going to mean for this planet. What it's going to mean for this planet is the end of the planet. Uh, I would pretty much rate the China's Belt and Road Initiative up there with climate change as a direct existential threat to all life on planet Earth. But people hear, you know, Belt and Road Infrastructure Initiative. If you want to get clueless fucking morons' eyes to roll back in their heads, you talk about the you, you talk about an infrastructure initiative in China, and you will uh, you will kill any party. If you want to be the buzz killer at a party, bring this up. Uh, there, there is not one out of 100 people, uh, if, if you went and said to them, fill in the missing word, China, Belt, and Blank uh, Infrastructure Initiative, not one out of 100 people could fill in the word road if you offered them a million dollars. It is... The, the, the Belt and Road Initiative is, is the poster child of every single thing that is wrong with China and global industrial civilization and the planet. It, it is the single biggest individual attack on a planet by one country in the history of the planet. It, it, is, it is every bit as big as Donald Trump's uh, attacks on uh, this country and this planet with his, uh, you know, his, his oil uh, drilling, drill baby drill. It is every bit as big a threat to the planet uh, as, uh, you know, Bozo Naro's attack on the Amazon, as I was talking about yesterday, the, uh, the Amazon is, uh, is certainly a major, major player in China's Belt and Road Initiative.
uh, the what's going on in the Amazon, the destruction of the Amazon from uh, Bozo Naro is a direct, there's nothing indirect about it, guys. It is all part of the initiative. The initiative to wrap a road around the fucking planet. To take a belt and squeeze the planet, wrap a belt around our planet's neck and squeeze and tighten the belt till the planet chokes to death. Uh, everywhere you look, you don't have to dig very deep. I know my L Lieutenant Daniel was sending me uh, this story today uh, about how uh, Brazil, about how Bozo Naro uh, is an ass kisser to the United States. And uh, while Bozo Naro is an ass kisser to Donald Trump in the United States, Bozo Naro is a hell of a lot more dependent on China than uh, he is uh, on the United States. And, and with every passing day, uh, Bozo Naro is more in bed uh, with whatever that little uh, planet eater's name is, Xi Jinping or whatever you call that little fucker, uh, they are completely in bed together. Uh, you know, uh, we, we are completely fucked. And so anyway, I am going to have to... Uh, I'm really going to have to find the, the person to interview about this. It will, if I do uh, interview somebody about China's Belt and Road Initiative, uh, my guess is uh, that it will be the single least viewed interview that uh, I have ever had at Collapse Chronicles that uh, not even doomers are, are paying any attention to the to one of the single, well, as I say, possibly the single biggest environmental catastrophe uh, unfolding on this planet that even doomers have no fucking clue uh, how fucked we are uh, from, from, from goddamn China. So, uh, Jimmy Carter, you're a great guy, and I have more respect for Jimmy Carter than any president in history, but at the same time, Jimmy, you're a senile old fart. You are a clueless moron. Uh, if you do not understand uh, that China has declared war on this planet, but I need to wrap this, my own sermon up and uh, head back to Austin, Texas on this gorgeous Sunday afternoon to uh, waste another six hours of my life trying to sell an old pickup truck in the state of Texas. So do as I say, not as I do, and get out there and enjoy it while you still can, because with or without any help from China, we are so fucked. Bye guys. God, look at this traffic pattern. Got a fucking airstream in the fast lane. But look at this shit, guys. Look at this shit. You know, is there one other person uh, driving through this that that just has that that right now at this moment 
uh, is getting their soul crushed, is getting their spirit sucked out of their body uh, by driving through this. Well, you know, this right here is uh, what Jimmy Carter would say is a good thing. This is what Jimmy Carter uh, is holding up as an example uh, of what the United States uh, needs to do more of. That uh, I, I agree with Jimmy Carter, we need to stop fighting wars in foreign lands. Yeah, to, to, to save the money, Jimmy, and, and declare war right here on our own fucking country. Jesus, we're so fucked. There you go, Jimmy. How about some of this, Jimmy? You like this? All of this fucking concrete belt around the fucking state of Texas? Is this what you want to build around the whole fucking planet? Like your goddamn little buddies over there in fucking China? Jesus fucking Christ. Get so fucking tired of the clueless fucking morons. Jimmy Carter, you ought to be fucking ashamed of yourself. Is this what you want in Plains, Georgia? Do you want this fucking eight lane freeway rammed through your goddamn little Baptist church in Plains, Georgia? That's exactly uh, what it would look like. Uh, if you were living in China, your little country church would be buried under about 20 fucking feet of fucking concrete. Look at this shit, people. Look at this shit! You don't need to go to China to find the uh, Belt and Road Initiative. You need to come here to South Austin, Texas. Find this bullshit uh, that Jimmy Carter thinks is, is, is such a great thing for the planet. It, it's, uh, it, it, it's, it, it's every bit uh, as big a threat to the goddamn planet uh, it is every uh, foreign war that these goddamn American war criminals ha have ever fought combined. Look at this crap, people. It, it's completely out of control. Uh, this shit. A, you know, coming in. Uh, look, look at this. This is South Austin, Texas, guys. It has been fucking destroyed. What is this shit? Oh uh, yeah, then of course, the, the gateway to South Austin, uh, Spaghetti Junction. Okay, here, here, is, uh, here is Jimmy Carter's uh, vision of uh, what America should look like. Yeah, uh, imagine, uh, imagine Jimmy, uh, if we had had three trillion dollars more uh, to spend on this shit. Uh, imagine how much more of this fucking shit would, would have been built uh, since 1979. This is what fucking China looks like. You know? I thought Jimmy Carter sold fucking peanuts. Does he sell cement? Does, does Jimmy Carter have any fucking idea uh, what the carbon footprint of cement looks like? Pull your fucking head out of your senile old ass, Jimmy Carter. Anyway. Come on, you motherfucker! Get around, you goddamn clueless fucking moron! Can't you see my fucking turn signal on, you fucking bitch? Anywho, I am coming in to South Austin, Texas, and uh, I am getting ready to get through this concrete jungle 
and see how many Mexicans can lowball me today on this used pickup truck. Of course, exactly zero Mexicans uh, lowballed me on my truck yesterday because uh, exactly zero Mexicans came out to look at my truck yesterday. We're so fucked. Bye, guys.